Hi, this is Ferris J and Sally the dog, and this is video two in my series of EFT tapping for pets, for our animal friends. And in this video, we're going to get to do the surrogate tapping for our pets. So I want to make sure that you've watched the first video in the series, because it's really important to tap on our own issues around what is wrong with our animal before we surrogate tap for the animal itself. So make sure you've watched that first video in the series. Now we can get to the surrogate tapping. This is where we tap for our animal. And we, we will tap on ourselves, but the focus will be on the animal. And this will mean we'll do a different setup statement where we're focused on them and not ourselves. Now some people do surrogate tapping and they use a teddy bear or a doll and they imagine that that teddy bear or doll is the animal and they will tap on the points on the teddy bear or doll. So that's definitely worth a try if that works for you. Personally, I tap on myself but I make sure I'm tuned into my animal and I'm focused on them. Okay, so we're going to use an example of a cat called Willow who has a sore front paw. And again, we can use borrowing benefits, whereas if you tune into your own issues with your own pet's issue, and I have another one coming to see me, um, if you tune into their issue, but still you can tap along with the words I'm saying about Willow and Willow's paw, it should still work for your pet. So again, I'll do the setup statement three times and then we'll go to the points. Now if you know EFT, EFT, you will know that I always like to rate the intensity of the issue beforehand. If you can do that, if you can see how much pain the animal is in or how much the issue is bothering them, you can do this. But it's not as imperative for the surrogate tapping. If you have a number, write it down. You can guess. Sometimes we can be very intuitive and the first number that comes into your head can be right. So it's worth trying. And now we'll go to the setup statement on the karate chop point. So what we're going to say here is even though Willow has a sore paw, she's a really good girl. That's going to be our setup. So we're focusing on the animal, not on ourselves. Okay? So let's try it. Even though Willow has a really sore paw, she's a really good cat. Even though Willow has a really sore front paw, she's a really good girl. Even though Willow has a really sore front right paw, she's a really good girl. And we go to the points. Willow's paw, her front right paw is really sore. Willow's sore paw. Willow's sore paw. Her paw looks really sore. Willow's front paw. It looks really sore. Her really sore paw. And take a breath. So that's an example of a really simple round of tapping that you can do for your animal's issue. And it should bring some relief. And I would love to hear from you if you try it to see what results you get. Until next time, thank you very much. It's goodbye from me, Ferris. And it's goodbye from Sally the dog. Goodbye.